Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a mosaic blur transition in DaVinci Resolve. Inside my edits page, I currently have two video clips positioned next to one another on my project timeline. The first clip featuring the sunset and the second clip featuring palm trees. Unlike other video transitions that you create in DaVinci Resolve, you are not expected to delete parts of a video clip that you wish to incorporate in this particular transition. Therefore, the video clips that I am utilizing in this tutorial have not been trimmed down at all from their original state. My intention is for the mosaic blur transition to last for five seconds. Two and a half seconds at the end of the sunset video, and onto the initial two and a half seconds of the palm trees clip. Inside your media pool master bin, left click on the icon in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail of the video clips that you are using in this particular project. To open the clip attributes, looking at the second property, we can see that each second in this particular video clip of the palm trees comprises of 30 frames. Looking at the clip attributes for the sunset video, we can see that the frame rate is the same as the palm trees clip, with 30 still images shown per second. Drag your red playhead on your timeline to the point between the two video clips that you wish to add a mosaic blur transition to. In order to add a mosaic blur to the end of the sunset video, we need to select the last two and a half seconds of this particular clip. Since we identified the frame rate of 30 in the clip attributes inside the media pool, we can use the duration reader on the timeline to identify how far we need to move the red playhead across. At present, the red playhead is positioned at 6 seconds and 15 frames, and therefore the red playhead needs to be positioned at the 4 second mark so that two and a half seconds of screen time for the sunset video is selected. In order to move your red playhead back, hold in K on the keyboard and press J. Go to your blade edit mode, which you can also select by pressing B, and left click on the red line directly below your red playhead on your video edit to make a trim. Go to the Effects Library. Underneath Open Effects, go to Find Mosaic Blur. Left click on this filter option and drag this to the 2.5 second section that you have marked on your video using the Blade Edit Mode. Let go of the left mouse button once your cursor is above this particular video edit. Go to your Selection Mode, which you can also choose by pressing A. Select this 2.5 second edit, go to Inspector, click on Open Effects, click on the keyframe diamond icon next to Pixel Frequency, so that this changes to red. Increase Pixel Frequency to 400, which should be the maximum value, so that the size of the pixel in this particular section of the mosaic blur is at its smallest. Keep smooth strength at 0, border type black, and global blend 0. Now move the red playhead forward to the final frame in your trimmed video edit. You can do this by holding in K and pressing L. With your trim video edit selected still, go back up to open effects under inspector once more. And to increase the size of the pixels for the mosaic blur, I'm going to change pixel frequency to 20. The keyframe diamond should automatically be highlighted in red. Now to create the second half of the mosaic blur. Hold in K and press L to move to the first frame of your subsequent video clip. And now shift the red playhead forward to the point on your video clip where you wish for the mosaic blur to end. Two and a half seconds into this subsequent clip of the palm trees from this point on the timeline, 6 seconds and 15 frames, will be the 9 second mark. Again hold K and press L to move the red playhead forward. 
select your blade edit mode. Left click on the red line below the red playhead. Go back to the effects library and select mosaic blur from open effects once again. Drag this filter onto the edits that will make up the second half of your mosaic blur transition. Drag your red playhead back to the halfway point of what will be your mosaic blur transition on your timeline. Select your second trim to edit. With the red playhead in place at the start of this new clip with the palm trees, I'm going to go up to Open Effects under Inspector once again. Note how the pixel frequency is exactly the same as it was at the end of the sunset video clip. In order to ensure that this remains the same in the new video clip with the palm trees, we need to left click on the diamond icon for the keyframe setting once again. Now shift the red playhead to the final frame on your second trimmed video edit, where this mosaic blur transition will end. Ensure that the same edit is still selected, before going back up to Inspector and Open Effects, and increasing the pixel frequency to 400. Again, the keyframe diamond icon should be automatically highlighted in red. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.